Rise and grind, people. Happy Monday. I want to share with you a quick story about why people... Oh, big doggy. So, <laughs> come on, buddy. Got the CFO with me. Doing his thing. Where is he? There he is. So, I want to share with you why, why, you're, why the what doesn't necessarily hold as much weight as much as your, your why why you do certain things and how that affects other people, how it affects yourself. I'll share with you a, a silly a silly story, but it has a lot to do with with where where my why came from. And so I guess it was maybe fourth grade. Uh, I don't know, maybe I was a eight or ten years old and my parents were going through a a rough, rough divorce. And uh, at eight or nine years old, that's a pretty tough situation to go in. And it wasn't pretty by any means. But I remember I'm sitting in my fourth grade class, and Mrs. Harris, she was a, she was an awesome little teacher. And uh, she called on me to read. I remember this very clearly. And I looked up at her, <laughs> and I just started bawling my eyes out, like crying hysterical. And she was like, what? What's the matter with you? And I was like, and I just let it go. I was like, my parents are getting a divorce. <laughs> and I don't know, I'm, I'm sad and I don't know what to do. And it's, it's, I just want them to love each other. And I was like eight, nine years old again. And uh, she goes, okay, class, <laughs> close your books. We're gonna, we're gonna help Henry. And she took the whole class and she basically just talked about life and talked about why things happen and how it wasn't my fault and, you know, all this good stuff. And it really, really made me feel a hell of a lot better 30 minutes later. But the funny part was this. So, so there must have been 30 kids in the class and maybe 10 or 15 other people, 10 or, other 15, 10 or 15 other kids. We're all going through divorces too. And they all were like, they, they, Henry, they were like, Henry, I, I need your help. I need your help. I feel what you're feeling. And, you know, it stinks. And it, it feels good to know that I'm not alone. And I'll, I'll never forget this. It was in the back of the room. There was a, a, a coat closet. And it was open. It wasn't like there was a door to it. <laughs> and Mrs. Harris had me go to the back of the room in that coat closet area in the back there and one by one the kids that were didn't want to speak in public they came back to me and they basically shared their story with me and I helped them get through whatever they were going through <laughs> and I think that was the day, that was the day I figured out my, my why and why I wanted to help people for the rest of my life, no matter what it be, no matter what it be. You know, I worked at Hackensack Medical Center for eight years and some of the, my first job was such a mundane job. It was cleaning coffee pots in, in the waiting room and it sounded so silly, but I was helping those people cope and deal with their loved one that was getting same day surgery and uh, just comforting them and letting them know that everything will be all right and you know the surgery is only going to be a little bit and I just remember comforting those people in that waiting room and at the same time though feeling like damn I, I got my college degree and I'm over here cleaning coffee pots but I never gave up I never gave up and eventually I got into a better position there, helping more people on a higher level. And then eventually I wanted to do this full time on my own. And that's where I got into my business and started my journey as an entrepreneur. But I wanna share with you <clears throat> the, the why is so much more powerful than the what. People don't really care what you're doing, right? They're like, oh, he's doing a good thing, or yeah, that person's doing this, or that person's doing that. And then they brush it off. They don't really care too much. 
But when you tell them why you're doing it, when you tell them the purpose behind everything it is you do, that's the game changer. That's when people's values align up with your values. And that's when you, you have a, a beautiful relationship started, a long-term relationship started, and people really get to know who you are as you. And that's super important. It's super important. I'll let this bus pass because it's loud as hell. Oh, great. We got two of them. Oh, he's going the other way. Cool. But I wanted to share with you that story because your why is so much more powerful than your what. So, listen, enjoy this beautiful morning, this beautiful day. It's filled with tons of opportunity to get out there and share your why with the world. Because I'll tell you, this, <laughs> the life we live is, when you look at the big picture, we're only here for a minute. Literally a minute. So make the best of it. Never give up. God bless you guys. And never give up. Talk to you soon.